Go. Hi, it's Doug and Beans from at Hammer, Hammersmith Equestrian Center in East Janice, Massachusetts on Cape Cod, here with another one of our instructional videos. Um, we're doing trailer loading today, and we have two of our horses here. This is Beans' horse, Jagger. You've met him before. She's gonna load him. Yep. And this is, you haven't met him before, but this is my horse, Finn, big old American Quarter horse, and he loads pretty well. Both these guys load pretty decent. They probably won't do it well on camera because we want them to. Yep. <laughs> but, but we'll see, we'll see how they go in. So that's part one of the video. Part two, we're, we're gonna load a slightly more difficult horse to get on. So, so anyway, um, our plug this week, our, our uh, shout out is to, interestingly enough, about trailer loading, right? Yep. A trailer gal is Allie Hammond, and if there's anybody you want to, to transport your horse, Good long turn. haul, <laughs> short haul, I, I don't even give it a second thought. I call her every time. Yeah. She's my go-to person. Uh, I wouldn't even need to be there if she was taking my own horse. That's how much I trust her. As a matter of fact, she's taking Bean's yeah. best friend yeah, she down to Delaware is. today. Yes, yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Yeah, okay, yeah, yesterday. So her down there, no problems. My friend said it's the best trailering experience she's had. Yeah. So. She, she doesn't force the horse on. She's gonna use a lot of the techniques we use here and just gets the horse on, okay? So let's talk about trailer loading. Um, for a horse, this thing, big old metal box here is a pretty scary thing. It makes lots of noise. You go up on the bed here, that makes noise. It shakes, it's shot, you know, it's glow, it's reflecting. Um, remember, the only two things that scare a horse, <laughs> things that move, move and things that don't. Don't move, okay? <laughs> so even though these are not, you know, in the wind moving that much, uh, you know, they, they're still stationary, they're built kind of different, they're kind of scary. It's a big box, okay? One thing a horse always learns is it doesn't want to get trapped somewhere, and yes. it doesn't want to be somewhere it can't move its legs. And so getting him into a trailer, the only way you're gonna do it is gain, first of all, you gotta get the attention of a horse, yep. and, you, and you've gotta get its trust, and you can't have him be dist distracted. You can't be upset about it, Yeah. okay? And so many times you'll see somebody trying to load a horse somewhere, okay? And with, as soon as they have difficulty within, it's like, you know, flies mm -hmm. to honey or something, right? Yeah. Suddenly you have 20 people there offering advice and helping and I'll do. Loading a horse is a one person operation. It's yeah. you and the horse. You don't need any help, okay? Just tell people you don't need them there, okay? So what Beans is gonna have to do, she's gonna put Jagger on first, mm -hmm. which is gonna be a test for us because whenever we go out, Finn always goes in first, Jagger always goes in second, okay? Yep. But today we're gonna do it opposite. So hopefully it goes just as smooth. The first thing she wants to do is move him around the trailer and just to get his attention, okay? She wants his attention. We don't wanna make the trailer any, any more important than it needs to be, okay? Um, basically, most people make trailer loading an event, which means it's something they gotta get done, Jagger. okay? Don't make it an event, make it a process. So here's a process. She's trying to get Jagger to lead, to follow her instruction. All right, so it's a little lunge thing. And now she wants it, him to be able to be led onto the trailer, not pulled onto the trailer, okay? So when she's significantly got his attention, his attention is now off this big scary box she's trying to get him into. So when Beans is ready, she kind of wants him to go forward a little bit if she can. And it's a ball about having trust. It's about you being calm and confident. And we make this a process, not an event. This is a non-event. Jared Jagger, oops, got his got his on, halter caught, so he's a little scared him, but oh boy. up he goes. And and it's okay for him to not go on fast. He's as long as he's got his head in there and he's looking around, he's checking things out. That's all we want from him, you know? And, and he's probably, if we, we treat him right and we don't force him, he's gonna go right in. And already he's in, the, he's in the big scary box and he's got one back foot relaxed and he's doing pretty well already. So um, I'm gonna take Finn, kind of, Finn has is, is, been out trailer lots of times. Remember our previous video, video, that was a bank robber knot, easy to do, untie. So I'm gonna lead Finn. I'm not gonna do the lunging part because Finn knows me pretty well and we do this a lot. But again, loose rein, I don't wanna be pulling him. I just want him to follow me into the trailer. Okay. Oh, hey, am I gonna have to, come on, baby, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Okay, Finn, come on. 
So he's not paying attention. Come on, Pitts, let's go. Come on. Let's walk right in. Let's go, let's go before. So let him stick his head in for a minute. And he's in the side. a little reluctant when he first got in he just stuck his head in wanted to look around wanted to see what was going on but now he's in there um there's a front load this is a, a front loading trailer as opposed to a slant load i i basically prefer slant load over this because you can put the horses in they're in a slant load when you take the dividers down the horses can come out frontwards coming out backwards is is a really you know the most difficult thing for a horse to do is back up so now we make him back up on a ramp on a slippery surface, coming out of a scary box that makes noise. Sometimes this can be challenging. So if you're buying a trailer and you have a choice, slant, slant loads are always always the best, I think, in my opinion. So now uh, I'll take Finn out since he went in a second. So nice and easy. Good boy, Finn. And since I had him tied up here before, I'm gonna put him right back here so Jagger is now comfortable. Okay, come on, Jagger. Spin. There's the bank robber knot again, right? You guys all know how to do that. So there was a pretty, there are two good horses that load pretty well, that get trailered pretty regularly. But you see, they, they even gave us a little bit of resistance, not much, but you know, so you've got to be really calm. You got to practice this a lot. As I said earlier, you don't want to make it an event, okay, where, okay, I'm moving my horse from one place to another. I've got to get this horse on. Yeah. That's not the time to train a horse to load to trailer load, okay? So let's say you go trail riding somewhere, you go to a parade or something, you get the horse in there, oh my God, it's a big struggle. Now you get to the parade, the horse goes into the parade, all uncertainty there. Now you gotta reload that horse and get it home. Uh, it's gonna be difficult, yeah. you may not be too successful. That's the one that may take hours and you end up with uh, a crowd of 20 people making it worse. Yep. So um, the key is you don't need you need patience, you need to be quiet. You get to, you want the horse to pay attention to you. Yep. Okay? And if you practice and do it regularly, you won't have any problem. You know, there's no such thing like any other thing in horses, right? There's no such thing as a horse that won't trailer load, okay? Yeah. They'll all trailer load. You just have to work with them. So you know, they have to be comfortable. Tension? Get yeah, so, so now Beans is gonna try to uh, ruin Jagger and make it so he won't go on. Uh, he's gonna show you some of the things you shouldn't do. Yep. when you're trying so, to get a horse on. If so. you noticed the first time I brought Jagger up, you know, I didn't face him. I've been working a lot with Jagger on just our relationship and him trusting me because he is a little bit of a high strung horse and we do call him Jiggy because, you know, he does get kind of spooked about things and he gets stuck up in his head. So I made sure I got his attention and just let him follow me right on. And I kept nice, light contact on the lead. But now if I face him and I'm like, come on, let's go. He's already more like, what's happening? Now he's going to go right on. But well, of course he's going to go right on. But usually when you're pulling on a horse from the front like that, which a lot of people do to get horses on, uh, what you do is you're putting pressure on the horse. Exactly what you don't want to do. Well, and even you can see, it, like, if I face him and start pulling on him, yes, he went right up onto the trailer, but he picked his head up. I can see the white of his eye. And he started to stress about it. He trusts me. He knows that I'm not going to put him in a bad situation. So he went on anyways. But if this was a horse I didn't know when I did that, he probably would not get on. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, like it and share it. It's going to be on YouTube and Facebook. Yep. Okay, not live anymore. We, we got away from the live just so we, we could post in other media areas. Yep. And it was difficult to repost the live videos. So... So we're going to go back to 9 a.m. Uh, on Saturday morning, post them. We had a little problem today. Yep. But um, next week? Harley. Har well, we're going to do Harley. He'll be part two. Harley, the push-button horse, okay, Not isn't so, so push-button push going on a trailer. So we need to get him over that. We need to work with him. So this will be, you know, I've tried to get him on a trailer one time, and I got his front foot on. So that's it. So it's not like this is going to be a setup, right, Beans? I mean, Definitely this is a not, tough yeah. horse. This is a tough horse to load. So we'll see you guys next week with that video, and thanks for watching. Thank you.